Hello everybody, Jamie here with Tree Puncher Support, doing a video today on how to update and change the mods for your Feed the Beast service or your Technic Launcher service. So, uh, basically, if you want to change your TechIt server to something like Volts or TechIt Lite or TechIt Classic, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. And as well, this will also update it to the latest version of the mod you choose. So we're going to look over, uh, look on how to uh, update your mods as well. Because just so you know, we do not automatically push updates to the servers for either TechNet service or Feed the Beast service. And so you'll have to do that manually when, manually when there is an update. So let's take a look in. So first you want to log into your game panel using the credentials that were emailed to you when you first logged in, uh, first signed up for your server. So once you log in, you'll be confronted with the dashboard. The dashboard lists all of the services you have open with Tree Puncher. I have all of them because you know this is a test account. But uh, we're going to be looking at Technic and Feed the Beast. So you'll have either one of these. So I'm going to go right into the Technic Launcher one. And you're going to see all these tabs. And the tab that you want for doing in updates and changing mods is the Install Mod tab. So open up and you get all of these different versions of the mods. So we have Volt, Tech It Classic, Hack Slash Mine, Tech It Lite, Light, Big Dig, and Tech It. So those are all the ones available right now. If Technic does add more, uh, they we will update this install mods section as well. And then you also got the the, the version number. We are usually r on the same day that these mods update. We will also put it in here. If we don't or you think that we are behind a version, just give us an email at contact at treepuncher.com and uh, we'll make sure to get that updated as soon as possible. Anyway, so if you want to switch your versioning between TechEdit or uh, between these things, all you need to do is click on the one. So let's say I want TechEdit Lite. I just hit install TechEdit Lite. It'll say TechEdit Lite installation started successfully. It'll take a couple of minutes depending on how large the mod is. Uh, usually about, I don't know, about 30 seconds it takes. Um, so I'm just going to refresh right here. Or go back to my, sorry, go back to my home where my dashboard is. And then uh, I should have Tech at Light installed. You'll be able to connect with Tech at Light based on your, uh, on your Technic launcher. And that's all you have to do. You see it says unavailable. It's just because it's not ready yet. Uh, as soon as it is, you'll get a 0 out of 5 there. And then the exact same process for Feed the Beast. Uh, if I go to the Feed the Beast service and then go install mod here. Um, we will see those exact same things. Of course, this Feed the Beast server isn't actually real, so you don't have any of these options. But once you click into your Feed the Beast server, you'll have those exact same things. Oh, here we go. Just took a little bit to load because it was installing Tech at Light on the other server. So we have all these things that we have for Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast, Direwolf 20, Minecraft, Magic World, Universal Electricity, so on and so forth. And like I said, we do keep these updated as fast as possible but if you think that one is outdated uh, or you think that we're missing one just give us an email at contact at treepuncher.com and if you have any questions at all for us contact us at, contact us at contact at treepuncher.com just as a note i will not be offering support at the in the youtube comments below so just make sure that you're uh, not commenting there and expecting any support so if you want support for your service go contact us at contact at treepuncher.com thank you very much for watching and have a great day